let's begin by trying to define art. And as with all things in this course, there are many options. Expressionism claims that the expression of emotion is necessary in art. A film must contain the expression of emotions to be good. Formalism says an artwork displays a significant form, like color, shape, designs, patterns, etc. The content in formalism does not matter. For instance, formalism doesn't care what a film is about as long as the lighting, set design, and camera angles are well crafted. Neoformalism says the function of art is to blend content and form together in satisfying ways. Not only does the film need good lighting, set design, and camera angles, but it also needs to tell an interesting story. The aesthetic, the aesthetic experience theory argues that art is its own experience and that it produces moods and sensations that are found only in art. The experience of watching a good film or looking at a painting can't be found anywhere else. According to this theory, a work of art is an artifact created with the intention of provoking an aesthetic experience. Conventionalism claims that art is based on the conventions of culture. You learn to read art the same way you learn to read a language. Art is representative, symbolic, but it does not seek to copy the real world. Like the word cow can represent a cow, but does not try to copy an actual cow. Institutionalism says there is art when someone says it is art, either the artist or someone else like a film critic or a professor. But who gets to say? Who is the clear authority? Finally, based on Ludwig Wittgenstein's analysis of games as an open concept, Morris Witz says art cannot be defined clearly like a triangle as a three-sided object enclosed figure with necessary and sufficient conditions. There is no common denominator, no clear and immediate ties between painting, sculpture, music, film, theater, or literature. Wittgenstein explains this with family resemblances. See pages 402 and 410 of your textbook for a chart that it shows the resemblances without a common denominator. 